we're gonna be bass fishing with some pretty big swim baits. Today we're gonna start off throwing the Guggen Squad Saucy Swimmer in the 4.8 inch. This is the pro blue red color and we have that rigged up on a 5 aught 1 4 ounce underspin right there. Check that out. Is that thing not gonna slay or what? So we're gonna see if we can get on some big boys with that. And if we get some luck with the underspin, then we're gonna bust out this bad boy right here that I got the other day, and I can't wait to try it. This is the Umbrella Rig, also known as the Yum Umbrella Rig, because it's made by Yum. This has um, five hooks on it there, and then we just have 16 ounce jig heads with a Strike King Rage swimmer. So we're gonna try that out once we catch a few fish on the underspin. So. Should be, uh, should be a pretty fired up video, y'all. Stay tuned. All right, y'all, we made it to the pond. Well, ponds, uh, I should say. Uh, it's looking real juicy. I'm seeing some fish move around, so. Should be able to get on something here. Let's see what this uh, underspin looks like. I've been waiting to see the action of this thing. Oh yeah, that thing looks juicy. This thing's gonna get creamed. We're on. Oh, he just spit it. That was a good fish. That's probably a three pounder. Oh, first good take on the saucy. We had probably three bites so far this whole time. And uh, that was the first one to actually take. Oh, there's a good bass right here, y'all. Well, a two and a half pounder. He just went in the weeds right there. God, that was a good fish. He was fat. Good yet? Nah, I lost a good bass though over there. Really? Yeah, probably about 30 minutes ago. Dude, they're out here, man. Oh yeah. Throughout all this, did you see some bass Oh yeah. Fishes, man. I caught a, probably in 2019, my biggest bass came out of here. Yeah. It was a seven and a half pounder. Nice. Hell yeah, man. Nice. Good luck, my man. Thanks. You too, man. Have a good day. Oh my goodness, a freaking three pounder just came out and looked at it. Chased it all the way up and I pulled it out of the water. Oh my goodness. Ooh, that was like a four pounder just chilling on two inches of water. Ooh, he just whacked it right here. Came out of the weeds and nailed. It's like a one and a half pounder. I really want to throw that A rig. The umbrella rig. You know what? That's what we're gonna do. You know, we might put the saucy back on in like 20 minutes if we don't get nothing on the umbrella rig, but I think I'm gonna go ahead and tie that on real quick once I bring this up. Alright guys, so we have our umbrella rig tied on. I've never thrown this. I've not even put it in water yet. So let's see the action. Oh yeah, that looks like a whole school of bait right there. There's no way I'm not gonna catch a fish on this. No freaking way I'm not gonna catch a fish. Spooked a freaking two pounder. Spooking good fish over here. Missing bite opportunities. Oh, got one on the umbrella. On the umbrella rig. He's a tiny one, but. 
That is a first umbrella rig fish for me right there, y'all. Check that out. How cool is that? Little guy chased the school of bait. <laughs> that is a tiny bass right there, y'all. Still really fun, really cool. That's my first umbrella rig fish. Hopefully we can get one like five times that size. All right, guys, so caught uh, only one on the umbrella rig and missed a couple on the saucy swimmer, but I think we're gonna go hit one more spot with the umbrella rig to try to get a good fish. So y'all stay tuned. guys so we made it to our next little spot here and uh gonna be throwing this umbrella rig again should be pretty good because there's uh this pond should be loaded with a bunch of smaller sized fish so they should tear up this uh this umbrella rig There's one on the umbrella rig. It's a little bit better than the one we got at the last spot. I'm not sure how big he is yet, but. Yeah, he's decent. Pound and a half, maybe two. On the umbrella rig. Check that. Nice. Right in the top of the lip on the umbrella rig. How cool is that? That's just awesome. Let's get this guy unhooked. Nice, probably a pound and a half. Just over a pound maybe. Nice, let's get another one. Oh, there's a one pounder, just followed it up right here. Got one, got one, another one on the umbrella rig. He doesn't feel too big, he's probably like a pound. Eh, probably a pound and a half. Maybe two pounds, maybe two pounds, he's a decent one. Yeah, he's, he's pretty decent. It's probably like two pounds. Check it, check it out y'all, on the umbrella. Whoa. Calm down, little dude. On the A-Rig. Check it out, check it out. Nice. That's so cool. I think uh, I think I found an, a new favorite bass fishing lure. Comment below if y'all have used an A-Rig before. I really, really like the A-Rig. Let's give this guy Nice little release here. Probably about just under two pounds or so. See you later, dude. Oh, something took the tail off of uh, one of our swimmers here. That's probably why it's looking pretty funky. We'll have to put a new one on when we get back to the house. So I didn't bring the Strike Kings with me today. I know there's a bunch of fish that kind of sit in this little cove right here. Yep, there's a fish. It's a little fish, little fish, but it's still fish on the umbrella. The cool thing about these umbrella rigs is you can catch two or three fish on one hook. Not one hook, but on the same bait. Yeah, this guy's probably a pound. That's still really cool though. On the good old umbrella rig. And that was on the one with no tail. Imagine that. You don't really need the action to catch these guys. They just see it and they see the spinning blades and they go ham. Oh, got one. 
got one on the umbrella rig right off the bridge. He's jumping. He's jumping. Get up here, buddy. Probably a pound and a half. Just about a pound. Right there in the good old A rig. Nice. Let's get him unhooked. Right at the top of the lip. How perfect. Nice. Check that out. What a good looking fish. All right. Slow roll this in the weeds. See what we can get. Usually the bigger ones in here like to hang on these weeds. Like that right there. Uh, he's little, but oh yeah, he's a fighter. He's a good fish. He is just running. Oh yeah. That nice A rig in his mouth. Look at that. We'll check that out. Look at that, all these hooks everywhere, man. That is awesome. Just freaking awesome. He just inhaled that little swim bait too. You know, the past three fish I caught have been on the one with no tail on it. Can you imagine that? That must tell you something. Make a cast in the open in the shade. See if one will come out. Another one. Little guy. Little guy. It's probably one of those one pounders I just saw. Hmm, it's pretty chunky. I mean, for his length, he's pretty chunky. Come on, dude. I'm not trying to get hooked. Nice. I'm not even sure what number that is. I would think probably around five, but I could be wrong. I, I probably caught like six by now. Not really sure. Whoa. There we go. And once again, on the one with no tail. Imagine that. That is like the fourth one in a row. Let's see if we can get maybe one more before we have to head back to the house. Last cast of the morning here. Right in the weeds, right there, right in front. I'm gonna slow roll this bad boy back and and we gotta get scooting on to the house. Nothing wants to come out and play. Last cast, last cast. Going once, going twice, and nothing. All right, well, it has been uh, a fun session today so far. Um, I'll get back with you guys at the house. All right, guys, so we made it back to the house. Today we had a pretty uh, good session throwing the umbrella rig. Um, not too bad, in my opinion. I mean, I really like it, but it's probably going to be better for deeper water for sure. I'm fishing probably, you know, no more than five, six feet of water. So it was working for my scenario. I was just kind of, you know, burning it close to the top, probably, you know, a foot or two under the surface. So, um, yeah, on this, we just have, you know, 16th ounce jig heads, one on, uh, with the 2.75 inch, uh, Stripe King rage, rage tails or rage swimmer or something like that. And, uh, yeah, this is the Yumbrella rig, they call it. This is the five hook, obviously. And uh, so before we tied that on, we were throwing this 4.8 inch Guggen Squad Saucy Swimmer. This is the Pro Blue Red color. And we had that on a five aught, um, one quarter ounce. Uh, this is an underspin hook. And we lost a good fish on that, probably, I mean, probably a good three pounder. That was the, probably the biggest bite we had today. We didn't really get too many bites on the Saucy Swimmer. We got maybe three bites one good take and uh so yeah we'll probably be throwing this some more definitely in the near future probably have some snooks some tarpon some bigger bass as well i've been wanting to get into bass fishing more i'm probably going to be getting some more bait casters you know for flipping bigger swim baits things like that so y'all stay tuned for some more bass videos and today we were just throwing my bait caster setup obviously 
This is the uh, St. Croix Bass X Rod. This is a uh, medium, heavy, moderate. Um, we have that paired up with my Daiwa Tatula. This is a seven to one one gear ratio. And then we're just running some 30 pound power pro braid in there. And we were throwing 25 pound fluorocarbon, but uh, right now I just have this Texas rig on. So I took all the leader off. I'm about to go fish some ponds in a little bit, but so. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed. If you did enjoy the video, go ahead and leave a like and subscribe for some more fire fishing content. Until next time, you guys stay safe, keep fishing, tight lines. Catch y'all on the next video.